What you look for, you will find. Does that make sense? Law of attraction, very basic. What you look for, you will find. So be careful what you're looking for. Be careful what you expect to find. Not careful, mindful, conscious. Be conscious of what you expect to find and change what you expect to find into the things you actually want more of in your life, such as infinite abundance, infinite health, infinite vibrancy, really good feeling relationships, really rich experiences, adventure, money, the ability to do what you want to do when you want to do it. All that, focus on expecting that to happen in the very next minute. Look for that. Oh, hey, where's that million dollars? And just be in the vibration, not of missing it, not of lacking it, but of looking for it as if it's already yours. Like, oh yeah, where is that? Where did I misplace that million dollars? Well, did I leave it in my cupboard? Did I leave it in my closet? Did I leave it underneath the table? Where is trunk of the Tesla? Where is that million dollars? What did I do with it? I forgot, but I know it's mine. I know it's somewhere here. Same applies to health, obviously. Where is my health? Oh, there, that's where it is. Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh yes, I feel symptoms of health. I feel more and more evidence of health flow into my experience. So you want to focus on the abundance and the presence of what you want without feeling that you're lacking it. You want to not focus upon the lack of what you desire, but upon the abundance and presence of what you desire. One way, one powerful way to build this momentum is to acknowledge everything that's going well for you. I've said this multiple times and I'll say it again. Focus upon what works for you. Acknowledge what is going well for you. The more you acknowledge what's already going well for you, you will amplify that and the universe will immediately start responding to that and creating more of it in your life. You are completely solely responsible for what you see, perceive and experience. Completely. How do you control creation? Not situationally, not circumstantially, not even financially, not relationally, vibrationally. It is your only means to total world domination <laughs> of your creation. It is vibrational control. You can absolutely, absolutely command your creation and it's still being in alignment with love and unconditional service. It's not conflicting with that at all. If you understand that all the buttons that create every little piece of fireworks you see out there are right here. As soon as you understand that the mixer that controls what type of audio output, what type of vibrational creational output you perceive in your life. As soon as you understand that that's right here, the control panel for life is right here. You stop going out of your way to try to get things and you actually just, oh, wait a second, let me feel better in this regard. I want more of a feeling of abundance. And whoa, there it comes, there it appears. Oh, wait a second, I want to feel healthier. So let me acknowledge and focus upon all the cells in my, in my body that are completely continuously in alignment and working effortlessly and joyfully and in a state of ecstasy and brightness and light and love already to allow me to even seemingly move my arms like this and have a conversation and my heart is beating i don't have to think about it my breath is inhaling and exhaling everything is going so well for me and whoop health appears as soon as you understand that the control panel for life for your creation is right here vibrationally thoughts feelings, beliefs. You've got the recipe for success in any regard, in any field of life. But as soon as you go out of your way, as soon as you get lost in situational focus and you misperceive, you overlook that you created what you see in the first place, that you're now reacting so heavily towards with more negativity that then activates more of the negative spike on your control panel that then activates more of a negative manifestation physically, etc. And the spiral goes on until you die, until you become hopeless, piece of waste of time, or the other way around, and you become very valuable. Now don't misunderstand when I say that to mean that you're not essentially perfect already, regardless of how much you fuck up, because you are already perfectly, essentially perfect as you are. It's simply a matter of how valuable are you to the intention that set up this life to begin with. So you have to understand it's never a value judgment of your core being. It is simply a discernment. How relevant is this for what I want to explore? 